sometimes you get these dents in your wood and they're really frustrating because you want to use these wood pieces to give as gifts or to make for a craft show or for an art fair coming up. So here is how to get rid of it. First, you're going to need a water bottle and you're going to need a wood burner. For me, I'm going to use my wire nib burner and I'm going to use these shading nibs. Basically, you want something flat, something that you can rub against the wood fairly easily without creating any more dings. If you are using a solid point burner, one of these soldering iron style, then I would recommend either the transfer point or the shading point, which is in my right hand. Transfer tip, which is on the left, is nice and thick, so you can burn at a higher heat. The one on the right, the shading point, is thinner, so you will need to make sure your heat is way, way lower, okay? Now, I am going to turn my wire nib burner on at about a one. And then I'm going to spritz my wood with that water bottle just over the dents. I don't want to do too much because I don't want that wood raisin too much. And then after I spritz it, I will take my wood burner and very gently rub the burner over the dent. And what that does is basically iron the wood. <laughs> it's so cool. And it it basically makes the wood come back to the original level that it was at, which is really pretty awesome. Now, something I've noticed is that it's kind of hard to see the dents and the scratches after I spritz it with water. So I run my hand across the wood and look for any other dents, any other scratches that might be there blemishing my wood. Once I have that, I will check it and see how we did. Now you can see here, this one was a pretty stubborn dent. That one didn't go away like the others did. So all I'm gonna do is spritz it again. Again, not too much water and I wipe off the excess and then I iron it again. And usually I don't have to do this more than two or three times. Usually once is plenty. But you go over it that second time and then once the wood is dried, you will have a little bit of raising. So I like to go over it with a 220 grit sandpaper, knock off any little splinters that came up because of the water, and then you're set. That wood dent is history. Isn't that fabulous? You literally can't see the dent anymore. It's fabulous. And now it's ready for you to use for your art, for your craft, for your gift, whatever it is. Hope that helps you. Later, Pyro.